Hello my dear children, this is your computer teacher in computers chapter 3 that is log on to MS Access was going on. I have already explained the chapter. Today we will do few exercises. So let's get started. Let us start with filling the blanks. The first question is a dash is an organized way of storing information. As we know, in database, we can store the information in an organized way. In a proper way, we can store the information in the database. So, the right answer is database. Second question is, a dash database stores data in several tables and links those tables together to get a common piece of dash. As we know, the relational database, it stores the information in different tables and links them together. Okay? To get the common piece of information. If we need one information, we will link all the tables that are linked to each other and we can get the common piece of information. Third question is, all the columns in a table are called fields. As we know, all the columns, we have a table of the columns, what do we call them? Fields. Okay? The fourth question is, the dash key combination is used to quit the Microsoft Access. अगर हमें Microsoft Access को quit करना है, बंद करना है, we will use the key combination Alt plus F4. Alt plus F4 key combination is used to close any application. Okay? So, this is the right answer. Fifth question is, dash help us to retrieve the filtered data based upon some conditions. Means, कुछ conditions के basis पे अगर हमें एक data access करना है, what we use? We use queries. Queries are used to get a filtered data based on the condition. Sixth question is dash contains the values for all the fields that belongs to a single person or an entity. Means a single person ki agar hume sari fields dekhni ho, sari columns hume ek person ki sari cheeze dekhni ho, to hum kahan pe dekhenge? Ek record mein, ek row mein. So the right answer is record. Now let us learn the true false. First question is Microsoft Access is a database management system. As we know Microsoft Access is an example of DBMS that is database management system. So this is true. Right. Answer. Second question is a set of characters that represents a valid value is known as data. So as we know what is data? A set of characters. This is also true. Right. Answer. Third question is, in flat file database system, you can make links. As we know, there are two kinds of database system. First is flat file and second is relational. In flat file database system, we cannot link the tables. We cannot create the links. And in relational database system, we can link the table to each other. We can make links. So, this is saying wrong and this is false. Right. Answer. Fourth question is, you can create a relationship between two tables by using a unique field. Yes, if we want to relate two tables. Just say, my past two tables hai. first me serial number hai, second me agar wo serial number usse match hooga, tabhi toh mundhono ko link karenge. So, we can create a relationship between two tables by using a same field or unique field. This is true. Right. Answer. Fifth question is, tables, queries, reports and forms can be created in Microsoft Access. As we know, Microsoft Access form kyo use karte hai? Why we use it? We use it to make the tables, queries, reports and forms. This is true. Right. Answer. Sixth question is, DBMS stands for Data and Business Management Software. As we know, DBMS stands for Database Management System and not this. So, this is false. Right. Answer. Seventh question is, the rows in a table are called records. Yes. As we know, the rows are called records. This is true. Right. Answer. Now, let us learn the ABQs. The first question is, Supriya is given an assignment to create a table in the existing document. Suggest her the option which she should select after opening Microsoft Access. As we know, uh, Supriya ko kya assignment diya gaya hai? She has to create a new table in existing document. Means already jo bana wa hai, usi mein usko ek naya table banana hai. So she can use create and after create, she has to select table templates. Already tables ke templates humare paas bane wai hoote hai, waha se she can take the templates. And then she can make her table. Okay? So the right answer is create table templates. 
Now the second question is Mansi wants to quit Microsoft Access after saving a database by using shortcut keys. Which key combination will you suggest her to use? As we know if we want to quit, if we want to close anything, what we use? We have to press Alt plus F4 on the keyboard. So the right answer is Alt plus F4. Now let us learn the MCQs. The first question is dash is the shortcut key combination to save the database. As we know CTR plus S that is control plus S is used to save any file. So in MS Access also we use this. This is CTR right. plus answer. The second question is dash is an application software which is used to create, modify and extract data from a database. As we know DBMS that is database management system is used to create, modify and extract data from database. So the right answer is DBMS. Right answer. The third question is dash is the standard file name extension for database in Microsoft Office Access 2010. As we know the uh, default extension of Microsoft Office Access is .acc tv. So this is the correct answer. Right. Answer. Fourth question is there are mainly dash type of database. As we know there are two kinds of database. First is flat file database and second is relational database. Right. Answer. Fifth question is dash are the user friendly interfaces that facilitate the process of entering data in tables and queries. As we know we have forms in which we have to input the data, we have to enter data. So the right answer is form. Right answer. Sixth question is which option displays the name of the current database on which you are working. As we know the title bar, the title bar is displayed at the top of the every window and it displays the name of the software and name of the file. So the right answer is title bar. Right answer. So children, exercises are completed today. This much for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.